Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. Happy Thursday. How are you all feeling? You know, this has been a very interesting week. We have just two more days left of March. So I'm curious what the cards have to say. I'm sticking with the tarot because of what Spirit had recommended on Tuesday. So we're going to finish out the week with tarot. Same deck, same energy, lights here is tarot. And let's see what the messages are for today. So I'm going to give this just a really good shuffle. Okay. All right, let's see here. There's something today that feels crisp. Uh, it feels like it's new. It feels like it's a fresh, crisp morning where like all potentials are possible but the sun is shining through but it's still kind of cool but like crisp fresh curious what that is oh interesting okay i get it i get it Wow, okay, this took me a moment because I was like, which way do you want me to read this? But it actually makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna start with the last card and then explain with the other cards. So last card is six of wands. Now this is that crisp energy, that new, that this six of wands really represents um, success and victory. And so she's got this wreath and we find the wreath often on traditional tarot for the world card as well as the six of wands so she has the wreath right here and it really means this completion like success she worked hard to get to this position now she stands in this position on stage not frivolously or not um with an empty sense of like oh yeah look at me she knows what it took to get there she knows she had to work hard she knows she had to really get to know herself she had to move through all the phases to get to this point. She had to create the stability. She had to really dive into who she is, what she's about, why she's the way she is, to come to this position of power in herself, but not again, outward egotistical power, but power of, um, you know, grounded nature, knowing who she is to get here. And this crisp new energy is what Spirit is talking about with these kind of like new beginnings that are really, at our doorstep right now and so this is why i find this really exciting because we have exactly that we have the four of pentacles we have the six of cups and we have the queen of pentacles so this is literally that journey she needed to really start to create stability and so when i say she i really i'm just referencing the fact that the card has a female on it but it's really anyone anyone who's listening to this you have had to really get clear on what brings you stability. What does it feel like to be stable in your emotional world, in your physical world, in your mental world? You have had to go through six of cups, memories, understandings, your life journey, maybe even ancestral journeys and stuff to get to know who you really are and what you're about. And doing that has brought you this place of stability. This four pentacles is really about stability, knowing who you are in this physical world. And when you recognize that, you really embody the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She sits there with her head up and her eyes closed, not because she thinks she's better than anyone, but she knows her connection to all things. She's feeling in her, into her connection to nature, to others, to energy, to life force on this physical planet. She knows it all because she's been willing to go through all the things to get to know that, to peel back the layers, to find her structure and stability and what she's actually about. And so if she wants to put, you know, twigs in her hair, she's gonna do that because she just feels she resonates with that. And that's kind of this energy. And when we're in that energy is when we can come into successful victory accomplishments, um, seeing our creations come to fruition. And this is that energy, that crisp energy of spring, that newness, that something fresh because of what you've gone through, what you've accomplished, there is newness here. So this seems like a really consistent theme this week, which I find very exciting, very, very exciting. And I'm curious how that leads into the energies of um, April 
And you know, I was gonna tune in later today to start pulling the energies forward for the April energy update on the podcast, which you'll definitely wanna check out on Monday. So it's gonna be following somehow on the heels of this. What is this new Christmas? What does this mean? What, what's coming for us? So I'm very, very curious. But I think this is a beautiful card reading for today. So, you know, it's one week since we had Pluto enter, enter into Aquarius, which was very whirly. Lots of geomagnetic storms, which was also very whirly. Many people felt out of body, all of those kinds of things. But now we're getting into crisp, clear understandings of things. And maybe for you, it's your understanding all of it. Maybe you're understanding certain tracks in your life. But there's this completion, again, with this wreath symbolizing completion, victory, and forward movement. So that being said, exciting things are to come. So I will leave that with you all for today. Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you again, as always, for your support, your love, your comments, your shares. It's just wonderful to hear. I love it. So thank you, and uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So have a beautiful rest of your day.